if I click on the background new frog click on the frog it moves okay that is very good let's say we want um, now also to know where the mouse click happened at the moment in the world if I can if I get a click on the background of the world I just place a frog at a random location let's say I want to place a frog at the location of the click so I take out the creation of the random numbers and here instead of saying X and Y um, I now want to use the coordination of the mouse click and I can do that quite easily by saying greenfoot dot I think it's called get mouse info we can check our documentation again um, get mouse info get mouse info is a method that gives me information about the last mouse click in form of a mouse info uh, object if, if I look at mouse info in the mouse info object I can then get the actor that was clicked on which button was pressed how often it was clicked whether it was a double or double or triple click and the X and Y coordinates so I do here a, a get mouse info call and the result of this um, I store in an object of type mouse info so I call my object mouse and I get the mouse information and then here instead of X I just say mouse.get X and mouse.get Y um, the get mouse info will always give me information about the last mouse click that has happened so I'm saying here if the mouse has been clicked then give me some information about that mouse click and place a new frog at the location where it was clicked let's try that out I compile this and run it now I click here and the mouse the, the frog appears here wherever I click a new frog appears and if I click on the frog it jumps around okay so we have seen now how we can react to a mouse click and how we can uh, get information from the mouse click uh, if I wanted to um, uh, say react only to a double click I can just um, investigate my mouse object again say okay if mouse dot get click count equals two then I add an object as well. so then it would only react to a double click let me show you one more thing before we finish for today and that is how to react to mouse move events let's say I want to write a scenario where some um, player object always automatically follows the mouse pointer um, let's make a new object for that let's say I have here a I create a new subclass uh, let me choose a symbol uh, what do we uh, let's use a smiley uh, let's use two smiley images the s image smiley 100 and uh, that's a smiling one and then the one with the tongue out that's smiley 105 um, so I call my class smiley to get both images copied over in my into my scenario here's this, the images that I used by the scenario I should choose them both I can't choose them both here at the moment so I choose one after the other I first choose one of them smiley 105 and say okay now I do a set image again see that image here has been copied over now and I choose smiley 100 okay and now both images if you do a set image we can check that both images have been copied into my um, project here so if in the smiley let's say we want first thing we want to make it follow the mouse pointer so I can say if Greenfoot dot mouse moved so on every m move of the mouse um, and not only moves on this object but every move so I have a filter null which means I don't want to restrict this to moves on a certain object I'm actually reacting to any move anywhere so if the mouse has been moved then I get my mouse info get mouse info and I place myself 
set location at the location of the mouse. Mouse get x and mouse get y. So that means now every time the mouse has been moved, I make the location of this object the mouse location. Let's try that out. I place the smiley in the world. Uh, if I run this, now without doing anything else, no clicks, just moving the mouse around, this smiley you see is always following the mouse pointer. And also note that I've made the speed fairly fast. If I have the execution speed slower, then you'll see it sort of gets a bit jumpy. It needs a fraction of a second to do the adjustment to get smooth movement, make it move fast, and it will um, move very smoothly with the mouse pointer. Okay, the last thing I want to do is um, if I now press the mouse pointer, um, let's copy this and modify it a bit. If ma the mouse is pressed on this object, then I want to um, change the image set image and the image was called the other image the uh, second smiley image with the tongue out was called smiley105.png I think so I'm saying when the mouse is pressed change to that image and then I want that again for changing it back uh, when the mouse is released and I can use the mouse clicked method for this then change it back to the um, to the smiley 100 image. Mouse clicked is an event that gets generated with a complete mouse click. A mouse click is a press and release. So this gets generated at the time that the mouse button has been released on the object. A mouse pressed gets generated, uh, generated at the time when the mouse button is pressed down. So this will happen when I press the mouse button down. This will happen when the mouse button comes back up. Let's see whether this works. So I, I place my smiley and run my thing. So here it follows the mouse pointer and now I click the mouse button and you see that the smiley every time I hold my mouse button down pokes the tongue out. Okay that should get you started on using <laughs> now I managed to click next to the smiley. Um, that should get you started with using mouse input for your own scenarios, your own games or simulations. Um, the pattern is fairly simple. You ask Greenfoot whether a certain mouse event has taken place, that is whether the mouse has been moved or pressed or clicked, and then you can restrict it to checking click on certain objects or um, checking everywhere. Uh, and to remember what methods are available, look in the documentation of the Greenfoot class um, and look at the mouse related methods. Okay, thank you for listening. Tune back in with the next tutorial in a few days.